Hey, beautiful people of the internet. What up? How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing awesome. I hope you're having an awesome night. Yo, guys. Tonight, I want to play something different. I want to play a more obscure type of fighting game. By the way, welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, guys, I have this section on my YouTube that I call awesome fighting games that you may not know about. And uh, I just did one for um, I did one for Banga Princess. We're probably gonna remake that one because that was like an old video. So I did one for Banga Princess, and uh, I was thinking, well, which one should I do next? And I think this one is a pretty cool game right here. I don't know if you guys know about Yatagarasu. This is a pretty awesome game. It's an independent game. It was made by three people. Three guys made this game. So that's one thing that you guys are gonna notice from like the series that uh, that I'm making from like awesome video games or awesome fighting games that you may not know about is that most of them are in the independent games or they are like small games that are pretty awesome but most people don't know about right so that's the whole idea so three guys made this game uh, I think they work on uh, they used to work on SNK and one used to work with like Terstrike Strike or something like that so they're like veteran fighting game players uh, who used to make this now this is the latest version this is the last one last version it's called Yatagarasu attack on cataclysm I think that's the name of it I hope I have it, I have it right um, but there is a bunch of version of this game like I remember I have a version before this one um, I remember which one was it I don't know they made a bunch of versions of this game um, and then finally they got an Indiegogo campaign where they uh they got the found to make this one which is the last the, le the last one right Yatagasu attack on uh, cataclysm and it's pretty badass man i really like this game i think it's pretty cool well one thing that you guys may notice is that this game have like pixel art type of character so it's not like high definition it's like low resolution basically uh, a little bit on that and uh it have been out for some time I mean, for some time, the first version is like a couple of years old, but Cataclysm was released like, what, like two years ago, probably? It's not really that old. This last version is not at all, but the other ones are definitely kind of old. Um, you have a bunch of options, which is pretty cool. You have sound tests, game options. I'm basically doing an overview of this game right now, more than anything. Uh, Nuts, Nuts, where is that? Nuts Ben. So he said, I remember this game was streamed at Super Arcade. Yeah, probably. So there is a lot of fighting game players that like this game. Um, and I guess I'm going to include myself on that one, right? Because I actually like this game. It's pretty cool. And the reason why I like it is because, you know, when I say that this game was made by, like, people from SNK and then someone for ter from Terra Strike, that's pretty much it. This game is that. It's like SNK and Terra Strike together. In a way, it's pretty nice. Also, let me move this symbol right here. Uh, where is that? Let me move the logo. Move the logo out of the way. I guess that's fine. Uh, where is this? There you go. All right, cool. So, I like the character design. They look pretty badass. We have this dude right here. Asher. That's one of, that's one of the new ones, by the way. Um, let's say uh, we have Kuro. Hanzo. Yusu, Maru, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna tell you, like, what do I know about this character so far? So, Asher, I don't know that much about that guy. Because I haven't, like, tried that much. So, I guess we can try him out. Uh, Kuo, Kuo and, um... Crow. Those two guys are, like, Ken and Ryu, basically. Crow is Ken. Uh, Ko is, like, Ryu, basically. Uh, we have Hanzo, which is a pretty interesting character. He's, like, pretty fast. And uh, it reminds me of Kami, but not really. And then Yusumaru is basically um, Fei Long. It's like the Bruce Lee of this game. Uh, we have Hina, which is a defensive character, and she has like charging moves. So she's like a Guile in a way, not really. We have like charging moves, a little bit more defensive, pretty cool character. Uh, she's a Samurai girl. And then we have Chimo. Uh, she is, she's not a charging character, she's another Samurai girl. It's a little bit more offensive. 
Uh, we got Jet. With Jet, she's, she's badass, dude. I like this character. It's awesome. I don't know how to play the character, but it's pretty badass. So this guy is basically Dudley. Yeah, pretty much. I was gonna say something else, but no, it's basically Dudley. That's what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he have an auto combo. No way. And um, how do they call that? Custom combo. He have like a custom combo. So you go for a super, and it makes you faster. So you can do custom combos and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, we have Cheda, which is basically some gif. He's the grappler of this. Uh, like I said, Crow is the king of the game. Uh, Ko Kotaro. I don't know much about Kotaro either. I, I don't know much about like the newer characters. Kotaro. I don't know. I need to look into her. She also looks like Kami to me. But like I said, you know, I don't know that much about. Um, oh, by the way, this guy right here is playing long. He has Rekas, like I said before. I forgot about the Rekka part. And then we have this other girl. She also have a sword, kinda, and um, it's pretty interesting on uh, some of her some of her attacks. She have really good reach, and she's supposed to be the main boss of the game. So that's the thing right there. So the characters that I don't know much about are like this girl, Kotaro, and Asher. Like I said, they are the new characters, so I haven't had the I never have the chance to like practice them. Or like check them out that much. Uh, but I really like the game. So my favorite character is this guy right here. I don't like his personality. But it's a cool character. Uh, oh another thing. You can choose supers in this game. You can choose between the one super and two super. If I remember correctly. Now you know how in Terrestra you choose supers? Well in this one you choose supers. But that doesn't mean that you only have one. What it means that you are adding damage or like properties your super so if you want to add more damage to your super one you pick super one if you want to add more damage to super two you pick super two and no it's not necessarily on damage sometimes you have to do with properties with super so i want to pick the first one oh by the way that's another interesting thing about this game you have commentators in the game and as you can see we have the legend ken no way that's maximilian it's not ken it's one of the announcer on this thing uh, we also have Ultra David, uh, Jane Chensor, right? Uh, we have some Japanese as well, Kubo. You guys may know Kubo for, um, I think he's like kicking ass in uh, cross the battle, if I'm correct. I could be wrong on that. Alright, we have some Japanese people. We have Tokiro, more the face Tokiro. We have the Chin Tokiro, basically, and regular Tokiro. Alright. Got a couple more. Oh, you can don't use any assist, I guess. No, I know nobody talking to you. And then we, you have the voices from the characters. Now, for this one, of course, we're going to get Maximilian. And let's pick a girl. Because we're going to go with this. All right, cool. And we're going to get more, more of their face. There you go. Now, we have some cool stages. I do like the stages. They're a little bit more static, though. They're not like... Um, they don't have that much stuff going on. But I do like them. They're pretty. Especially because, like I said, this is made by, like, three people, right? At least the original version of it. All right! Let's go! Go for broke! Go for broke. Yeah, by the way, this is the new stage. That's why I have like more stuff on the background. But most stages don't have like people or anything on the background. This one have some people on the background, which is pretty cool. I wonder who is that character on the background right there. That girl, right? She looks like a like could have been a character in the game. Oh, we have another crazy girl right there on the background. All right, so as you can see, it's pixelated art. It looks pretty. I like it. Uh. Unfortunately, that's probably one of the things why this game really didn't become popular. It's just because um, when this game was released, some other games have like amazingly 2D artwork, like Blaze Blue and uh, the old Guilty Gears, that kind of stuff. And this this game is still kind of looks old, basically. When they released Cataclysm, it kind of looks old because of the pixelated uh, art, but it looks cool. I like it, like I said before. Um, what can I say about the game? 
Well, this is a six button fighting game, but with a difference. So in actuality, it's a four button fighting game. So you have light, pump, uh, light kick. Let me see what are my controllers. Okay, there you go. Light kick, heavy kick, light, pu light punch, heavy punch. By the way, my buttons are like all over the place. But all right, light kick, heavy kick, light punch, heavy punch. And then you have uh, modifiers. So you can do like forward, forward press a button and you get a modifier, right? Oh, this is actually important right here. Well, but anyway, so you have the modifiers, right? Of your attacks, light, heavy, light, heavy, punches and kicks. But also, this is the pretty cool part. You have these other two buttons right here. Where is that? Where are they? Let me see, let me find it. All right. You have this other two buttons right here. I don't know if you can see like a like a blue square on the top, shining, flashing, right? This doesn't do anything. Well, this is a parry. You have parries in this game, like in Terra Strike. King saying, I remember this game. Yo, welcome to the stream. I know, right? So you have four buttons, and then you have parries. High parry, low parry. So you know how in Terra Strike you like press forward to parry? You press a button on this one. High, low. You can see the flashing squares on the top. High, low parry. On top of the regular buttons and the modifiers. Now playing. Why is this playing? Okay. That's weird. Alright. Another thing about the modifiers. If you do crouching heavy kick, it's a low, it's like a heavy low at a uh, low kick. Like that. But if you do forward heavy kick, down forward heavy kick, it's a sweep. I think that's for every character if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that. So, you know, you need to check the modifiers for your characters, like how do they work and stuff. Oh man, these graphics, dude. I don't know, I do like the fucking pixelated stuff. It looks pretty cool. I don't know, I'm, I'm old, so I kind of like the old school stuff. Alright. Now, like I said, this game was made by some people who make some SNK games, and I didn't want it just to work for like Terra Strike. So this is like a mix between Terra Strike and SNK. In a way. You like to have the audio coaches? Isn't it kind of weird? King? King is like saying that he liked the, uh, the audio coaches. Well, there is Maximilian on this one. Let's see. There you go. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's cool though. In a way. So, okay. Anyway. I was thinking on this. Oh, yeah. Modifiers. Parries. Oh, okay. Uh, jumps so in this game you have regular jump jump forward jump back stuff like that right then you have super jumps like this one super super you're um, in neutral game in neutral do neutral by the way and it goes a little bit forward then you have super jump back as well however when you do super jump forward you may imagine to have a long jump right well no you get like a hop you get this thing right here. Look, this is a regular jump. This is a super jump. So, you basically have a short jump or a short hop like in uh, SNK, like in the Kino Fighters. What that means is that this game can become really aggressive and really offensive, right? Oh, fuck. Dude, that was a close-up? I'm telling you, man. This game is pure madness. Right? So you can get some crazy ambiguous cross up like that one. I didn't know I was in the other side. Or you can get a knockdown and then short jump into something. Right? Let me see. If you time it correctly, you know, you can just jump in front of your opponent and sometimes you can make things a little bit more safe. Plus it's like easier to jump in, you know? You can get some crazy stuff with this short jump. And then remember, you have parries, right? So let's say you short jump, you can like parry it on the way in, or you can continue with the pressure and then parry it wherever your opponent is doing something. Like you think your opponent is going to DP or something, right? You're pressuring the heck out of him. 
Bam! Pierde that shit and then punish. So that's uh, one pretty cool thing about this game. You know, the type of jumps and, and everything. Uh, King saying, it was weird, but it was fun to play around with it. Yeah, for like the um, the announcers. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, what else can we say about the game? Oh yeah, well this game have a a um, defense bar, like a block bar basically. Let me see if I can make it. I can show you that, guys. My buttons are all over the place, like I said before. So, oh shit. Okay, it's that one. So let's see. Training options. Oh fuck. Training options. Um. Auto guard. Yes. Random on. All right, right. So you have a a block bar on the top. I don't know if that's gonna record or not. Oh, it's probably on recording right now. But anyway, damn it. How can I put it on? Uh, infinite hit points, timer, infinite super gash, infinite dummy action, normal match speed. Okay, recovery. Uh, simple display. You know, that's pretty cool thing about this game. Even if it's a, a kind of like an independent game, it does have some options for like practicing, which is really necessary in this game, right? This type of games. I don't know why the damn uh, blocking is not it's not depleting. I don't know. I guess I need to move a little bit more stuff in the in the thing. But you should be able to deplete your opponent bar. Dude, let me see if I can find it. Uh, stand. Super infinite. I'm going to put a normal. His point in time in normal as well? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's go back. Am I doing it wrong? No, I should be doing it fine. Well, for some reason, the the block is not depleting. But if you can see, if you see the blue bar on the top. Infinite, infinite. All right. If you see the blue bar on the top, that is your bar, your uh, your guard basically. If you block way too much, it's gonna break, and then your opponent is gonna have one free hit. So that combined with like the the super jump, there is actually a short uh, hop, and then the parry, right? That you're like parrying people, and they're super jumping in with some craziness. This this can be a really aggressive fighting game. Because people are just going to have the pressure on you because either way, they're going to break your guard and then they're going to have a free hit. So there is almost no downside to like not pressuring your opponent, even if they're blocking. Of course, you know, you're going to get punished if you don't do it correctly and stuff like that. All right, what else? All right, supers. You always have two supers in this game. Every character has two supers. So you can... So two super stacks. So you can, let me see, where is one is it? The super bar fills up again, let me see. Normal. There you go. So you have two supers. One super. Let me see, what was the other one? Alright, that was with kicks actually, but anyway. So you have two supers. You have a grab, by the way, as well. What is my grab? How do I grab? Let me find it. Because you have a grab in this game. I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, there you go. So my buttons are all over the place. It's a uh, light kick and light punch. There you go. And then, well, anyway, the super bar. So the thing with the super bar is that in top of doing supers, you can do EX moves. Does it ever end? So you can do super moves if you have enough uh, bar to do an EX. Usually, it's half over the bar to have an EX. Like that. 
Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, so you see the square on the bottom, like right here on the bottom, you see like one little square that is pink and one that is blue. That is just an, indica an indicator of what type of super do you have uh, augmented. So you pick the first super, you pick the first super is gonna have the square on the top. If you pick the second super, it's gonna have the square on the bottom. So when you're fighting somebody, you're like, okay, he has super one. Right, Super 1 is the one who have like extra damage or whatever. So yeah, that may help you with like matchups and stuff. Uh, I'm still there a lot of stuff that I want to learn about this game. Like one of the things that I need to learn about is this move right here. So if you do two heavies, you get this thing. I believe that is an armor break, if I remember correctly. If you guys can correct me on the chat, maybe you guys know more about this than me. I think it is an... Um, and car break if I remember let me see after the first hit random oh no way on there you go I think it is a car break look like that you see that Do you saw get the car break bam bam car break now the thing with that is that's pretty slow but if you have um, somewhere against the corner you can break the card and then you have your offense right isn't that pretty cool you have one hit right there so that means your opponent is not going to be defending all the time like i said this game is like pretty much rewarding you for being uh, really offensive uh what else do the game have do we have a short job um and, and uh, overhead no, I don't think so. Do I still have a hit over here? Oh yeah, there you go. All right, so if you throw ball punches, you get an uh, universal overhead. So like I said, man, I have been saying, you know, this game is, uh, this game is a mix between SNK and Ter Strike. So you have the universal overhead, two punches. You have the grab with two buttons. You have the guard break, you have guard break, which is this one right here. Uh, short jump, which is pretty offensive, like I said before. Uh, well, hey, thank you for the bits, appreciate it. Teddy Driver, how you doing, bro? Long time no see. Um, what else am I forgetting? Yeah, well, universal overhead, guard break, grab. Um, am I forgetting something? We'll have the parries, right? Like in third strike. And then you have the super jump, which is actually like a chore, chore hop. Plus the supers. The supers. And you can have up to four EX moves. Like have one bar, I can do two, two EX moves. So I can do something like that, you know. Get some EX move uh, going right there. So that's pretty cool. I really like this game. I think this game is like underappreciated underrated and a lot of people don't know about it so that's why i'm making these videos right like i said before uh, guys i have a series on youtube that i am calling awesome video games that you may not know about well i already did one for vanguard princess oh so i probably gonna make it again and um i wanted to do something for yata Garasso because i do like this game i think it's pretty cool and uh, i just went under everybody's radar uh, i guess one of the reasons why is because uh when this game was released the last version at least the last version got these all these options that i have it's crazy when um this game was released there were a bunch of uh fighting games that what the fuck all right give me all my bars what am i doing <laughs> let me restart that's what i do this there you go so um when this game was released, there were a bunch of other fighting games that were like high definition and they were like widescreen and everything. And this one is not widescreen and it's not high definition. It's actually like raw, low resolution. Although the graphic, I like the graphics, even they're like pixelated. They look pretty cool. So that's the thing. This is Yata Garasu. That's the basics. There's a bunch of pretty cool characters that I like. And I definitely recommend you try the game. You know, if you can get it on sale or whatever on... Uh, on Steam, give it a try. It's actually pretty cool. 
Uh, one of the only problems that I have with the game is that I don't know how to make it work online, though. That's the only problem that I have uh, with the game. If I could make it so I can play online, I would probably stream it some more. You know, just to play with people and stuff like that. Um, happy, good music, 